wait for so Hi. <laughs> Hello. Julie, I don't think, oh, wait a minute. Is your audio on, Julia? I'm not sure that your audio is on for some of you guys. Let me try to unmute some of you. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It looked like you were in like a really big parka or something for a second. It's a comfy. Have you heard of them? What? It's a comfy. Have you ever heard of them? No. It's like a massive sweatshirt, but it's like Sherpa inside, like Sherpa blankets. Oh my God. It looks fantastic. That's the best thing I've, I've bought during quarantine for sure. Awesome. Um, I'm going to make sure some of you guys are unmuted. Um, make sure that you at least turn your audio on. If you don't want to have to look at you, you don't have to do that. But please do at least make sure that your audio is on. Unmute all. So you're all unmuted by me, but some of you just aren't connected to the audio. Okay, it looks like you're all good. Okay. Hi everyone, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? <laughs> None of you seems particularly enthusiastic. <laughs> Mitchell, right. you look like you might still be in your bed. I am, I just woke up. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm fine. Honestly, I don't really mind quarantine. It's kind of peaceful to be quiet and inside and it's really good for the environment so there is yes there is that there is that it is good for the <coughs> so one of you is coughing be careful natalie it's with me i haven't been out of the house since quarantine started so <laughs> tell me i don't have corona i feel like you're constantly sick natalie you're always there's always something going on yeah that's when i'm in the house Jeez. Well, how are the rest of you doing? How about Joan? I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. I've, yeah. I just, since I like work in a hospital, it's sort of difficult to like not get any like contact with anyone. Yeah. Whenever um, you go home, have you been like, you know, like to your family home to see your parents? Have you been like trying to stay away from them a little bit or is it kind of impossible? Yeah. Yeah, I try to keep myself away just, like, the first, like, couple days when I get back. Mm -hmm. So that, because, like, I do, like, I work every, like, two weeks. Then, like, when, it, it, by the time, like, I feel like I'm, like, fine, I go back to work. Jeez. Like. That's, that's kind of scary. And that's really draining, too. That's, yeah. Gosh. How are the rest of you holding up? I, I'm like flipping through. I can see I'm looking currently at Segi and Uma and Annie and Kaylee. <laughs> you can everyone on the screen at once, I believe. Yeah. You if you like go on the upper right, it says like, like gallery view. Okay. If you uh, click on that, you can see like everyone. I can see all of you now, except for those of you that do not have your video on and apparently do not want to share your faces. And so I will just have to remember what you look like. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. There's Julie. <laughs> um, it's really nice, actually, to get to see you guys. I feel like it's been so long. And I also feel like, oh, there's Shannon. She's waiting for me to admit her. Um, I also feel like our class hasn't, hasn't quite gone the way, obviously, that I wanted it to in the second half of this semester. Um, you kind of just had to watch really awkward, I think they're terribly awkward whenever I watched them back, videos of me mostly at the kitchen table, just 
trying not to giggle at inappropriate passages while I was reading them out loud. So I, I apologize for that. <laughs> I sincerely do. Um, yeah, so I don't know what has been going on with me. I've been losing my mind recently. I, it's not like I want to get out of the house. I'm just like really anxious. I'm sure you guys all are too. Um, yeah, and so um, our, our almost family member who, um, so we had a couple of people who are related to us by marriage actually, oh, that's my coffee cup, um, contract the coronavirus and we did have one of them die from it. Um, so that was really, really devastating, um, especially for my uncle who he was a second father to. Um, and my grandmother has been really upset about it too. So this is, I mean, this is so, it's kind of hard and unbelievable. I almost feel like we're living in an alternate reality right now. Yeah, I felt like that before. Yeah. I felt like it was like one of those, like, everyone describes it as like a Black Mirror episode. And I was like, kind of, like, it doesn't feel yeah. like reality. Yeah. Or like, um... Siggy, Angelina, and Joan, whenever we read um, the Illuminae files in my class like a year ago, this is like sci-fi on that kind of level, right? Yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, we read this really awesome <laughs> sci-fi book. It was so good. Um, I think most of you really enjoyed it in that class. Um, and it, it's like, you know, intensely sci-fi. And they're actually fighting a plague too in those books. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a plague in those books. Yeah. Oh my God. And so it kind of feels like <laughs> that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I just really wanted to see you guys for the last class and to thank you for all of your hard work over this semester. I know it has not been easy for any of you. Um, yeah. Also, I want to talk to you guys about the final exam. Um, have you all gotten like my emails and stuff about that? Mm -hmm. You're nodding. You, Julie is in her little whatever that thing is. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Everyone should get one. <laughs> can everybody see what she's in? Here, I'll stand up so you can like see it. You're the most magnificent thing. <laughs> she's just wearing a blanket. <laughs> yeah, it's like a blanket sweatshirt. Where did you get it's on Am from Amazon. I knew. It was How much was it? I would it's like money. 40 bucks. It kind of looks worth it though for 40 bucks. Like it, it is. It really is. I yeah. Know. Today's actually my birthday, so it was a birthday present. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. birthday. So, yeah. Birthday in the quarantine is definitely weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My grandmother's know. birthday is in two weeks, and I keep reminding her, and every time she just groans at me. She <laughs> Yeah. I know. Everyone's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, there's nothing to do. <laughs> Go for a walk outside. Yeah, and it's like cold here in Rochester, so. Oh, you're in Rochester, New York. Yeah, that's where my parents are, so. Okay. I'm actually staying with friends because my mom works in the hospital, so she won't let me come home, but it's been good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, did, were the rest of you able to go home? Yeah. yeah. Like, to be, no, some of you are like, nope, I'm kind of stuck where I am. Yeah, I um, I would not have gone home myself if it wasn't for my grandmother, who is locked in her room with both of the cats right now. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the cat content too. They're the stupidest creatures. Oh, I have to tell you guys a Missy story. So obviously Missy is just this little chunk, this ball of fur. I call her the chubberoni. Um, and, uh, so the other night, it was like dark, it's almost midnight, and all of a sudden we hear Missy yowling, and usually what that means is that there's this huge cat that prowls the neighborhood that will come up to the front or the back door and just, like, stare in at her, and usually that just means the big cat has come and he's tormenting her. First off, Missy's a psycho. She launches herself at the glass repeatedly to try to get to him and fight him, and it's like, Missy, even if you could get to him, he would kick your ass. He's like four times her size. That aside, but there was no cat outside. So my grandmother and I are like running around the house trying to figure out where this dumbass cat is because she's freaking out and yowling. Finally, my grandmother opened one of the lower kitchen cabinets and Missy just 
bolted out from it and just ran away and hid and she was still screaming. Um, so the idiot got herself locked in a cupboard. <laughs> that was our big excitement for like the last month. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's talk about um, the exam. Are you guys nervous about the exam? Seggy's just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> don't know what to expect, honestly. <laughs> you don't know what to expect. Um, what day is the final exam? Okay, that's a good question. Um, so it is actually on <coughs> May 1st, so it's this Friday. Okay, what yeah. time, is there like a specific time? It's, so I'm going to make it so that you can do it any time on May 1st. You just need to have two hours to sit down and do it. That's all. And it has to be turned in by midnight on May 1st. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I tried to be flexible. That's why I didn't hold Zoom meetings before now, because I knew that some of you were like working full time or you have other classes or you have family ob obligations or you're just like, freaking out in quarantine, which is totally reasonable. <laughs> so that's why we haven't like done this kind of thing. Um, yeah, so it'll be May 1st. You just need to set aside a block of two hours of your time to complete it. And I, I really don't think necessarily that it will take you two hours to complete it. Um, so there's probably about 15 multiple choice questions. And those multiple choice questions are details from the book, whatever books we've read. So uh, I'll give you an example. Um, what is the name of the three queens in Three Dark Crowns? And you'd be like, okay, Catherine, Arsinoe, and Mirabella, right? That's like an example, <coughs> details from the book. There's a couple of true false questions too. Um, but I think there's only like two or three of those out of the 15. So that section should be pretty easy. Um, next, there's a short answer section where I believe you have to write three to four sentences for these short answer ones. And there's four questions, but you only have, that was five. There's four questions, but you only have to choose three of them. So you can choose, you can skip whichever one you're not sure about and choose three of them instead. Um, and those are more details about the secondary reading. So like, what is ecofeminism? Things like that. Okay. So I actually think that the short answer questions are going to be the most difficult. That's what I think. Like if I was taking this exam, those would be the most difficult for, for me personally. Um, and then the last thing is that you do have a short essay to write. Originally, whenever we were gonna be meeting in class, I was gonna make you guys write two essays for the final. That seems unbelievable to me at this moment that I would ever think to make you all do that. <laughs> so you only have one essay. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys an option. You'll have two prompts and you can choose one. And I'm gonna tell you right now that you can either write about the girl with all the gifts or mama day. Those are gonna be your two texts. So you're gonna choose a prompt from one of those two and you're gonna write about them. So like maybe go back over your notes from those texts, maybe skim back through those books if you need to, go and watch those absolutely horrific videos of me on YouTube, trying not to laugh inappropriately whenever Gallagher is like being eaten. <laughs> That part was not supposed to be funny, but for me, it was kind of hilarious. Um, okay, and then for the essay, what I actually recommend is that you act, so I've told you for your, the big essays that you wrote for this class, not to write a five paragraph essay, but whenever you're taking an exam, especially a timed exam, it's useful to write a five paragraph essay. So for um, this exam, if, if a five paragraph essay is what is gonna be fastest and best for you, you can absolutely write one and I won't deduct any points. I also recommend whenever you're taking the exam to go ahead and do the essay first. It's probably what's gonna take you the longest. So like, if you think about it, you have three sections to this essay. You have the multiple choice, the short answer, and the essay. I would start with the longest thing first. I would start with the short essay and I would spend like 45 minutes to an hour on that. 
right? Just get it all good, get it out of the way. And then I would do the short answer and the multiple choice in the remaining hour, hour and 15 minutes that I have. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, Kaylee, what's up? Um, do you know what time you're gonna like make the test available um, on Blackboard on Friday? What an excellent question. How about 5 a.m.? <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. You're going to be up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I have work on Friday, and I wasn't sure if I should do it before or after, and I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do it before, and if you put it up at 5 a.m., I'll be able to do it before. <laughs> okay. I can even put it up earlier. Like, I, so I can go into Blackboard, and I can make things available. Like, I don't have to be on Blackboard to make things available. I, I don't know. What it, do you guys want it available at two or three a.m.? When is your best testing time? <laughs> I think five is really good. Like that's really early. <laughs> is that okay with everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. I wish I could look around the classroom, but I can. I just can look at all your lovely faces this way. You all do look lovely, by the way. Um, Anna Maria, what's up? <laughs> I have two questions. Um, yeah. For the multiple choice, you said there were going to be details throughout, like from all the books. Is that throughout the whole entire semester? Like yeah. including, okay. Yeah. Um, and then my second question, I know you said the essay, like the short essay was, if like five paragraph was easiest, like you can do that. But is there any like minimum um, amount or like that we should write or just as long as it answers the question like there. as long as it answers the question you probably want at so you're going to be doing this this essay like on your computer at the at a very minimum I would think it would be hard to answer the question in under at least a page double spaced I think okay and that's really not that much if you think about it and you said for the short answer like four sentences four to five sentences yeah, I, I, it might actually only be three to four. Um, I, oh, okay. it's, it's not very long. It's like a little short paragraph that you're writing me where you say ecofeminism is this and here's what it does and blah, 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 blah. Right. So like some of those kind of bigger theoretical concepts that we um, have talked about over this semester. Yeah. Um, and then I think I've also noted in the lesson plans to you guys and in emails this so there's no There's like no way for me to police you <laughs> Unless I made you all take the exam at the same time and we got on zoom and I all watched you take it Which would be terrifying for everybody um, And is not a kind of torture routine that I want to do to myself or to any of you um, if any of your professors are making you do that, I'm so sorry. That is a torture. Mine routine. are. Mine are too. Torture <laughs> yeah, a locked <laughs> a locked <laughs> it monitors your eye movements. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. I'm not going to monitor your eye movements. That's like, we're already living in some kind of sci-fi dystopia. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take that extra step to take us there. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do that to you guys. I just think that's so weird. Um, so here is the thing. Your exam is fully open book. You can use any of the materials from our class, from your notes. You can use any of the materials from those online recordings that I did, any discussion blog posts, um, any books, any readings, anything from the class you can use. Absolutely anything. Just I so because I'm I feel like that's very generous of me. I'm just asking you to be generous in return and not Google answers. I feel like some of the answers would be hard to Google anyway. So like I feel like that's a fair trade off because I'm making it so open book. You, you wouldn't really need to Google answers anyway. You should have all the answers written down somewhere already. Segi, what's up? Um, are we um, required to use some um, citation for the essay? Like, do you want us to reference anything in the books? Nope, no, okay. no citations needed. That's just like taking up extra time that you guys can spend on making sure your answers are correct and, and really well done instead. Yeah, so don't worry about citing anything. Yeah. But please just refrain from Google. It's on your own recognizance. It's like I've released you on, on bail, right? Isn't that how that goes in TV shows? You've been released on bail on your own recognizance. <laughs> Um, yeah, but again, it's, it's entirely open book. So you can like flip through 
any of the novels and find the answers or just like look at the blurb on the back of the book and find the answer to what is the name of the three sisters from three dark crowns <laughs> like it's on the back of the book so um i think i think that's it i think that's it as far as the final exam is concerned at least do you guys have questions about that do you all feel okay does that like make you feel a little bit better? Like it's not going to be the worst thing in all of existence. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Anna Maria. I have a question about our second essay that we turned in. Yes. Um, are we going to be receiving like grades or feedback from that or are you just kind of like entering your grade? Yeah, I'm, I know I'm kind of behind on that. Um, you will be receiving grades and feedback. Um, I have been really anxious recently. I'm so not only is quarantine happening, I'm waiting to hear back about funding for my fifth year in the um, in the program. Um, funding for your fifth year is not guaranteed in the English department. So I had to submit an application and I'm waiting to hear back about my funding. So I'm like really an anxious ball. <laughs> and I don't like to grade whenever I'm really anxious because I feel like I'm not a good or a fair grader. So I I did like three of them yesterday. Um, and I will get to some more today and over the next week. But I, th I think that hopefully by Thursday or Friday, you will know how you did on your essay. I'm supposed to find out this week about the funding. So hopefully that will just calm me down either way. I know. Thank you guys. Please cross your fingers, cross your toes, turn into a pretzel, cross your entire body. <laughs> it's much appreciated. <laughs> Uma, what's going on? Um, for the discussion board, like, I guess discussions like are those being graded or like counted as like like how is that being factored in yeah so I'm using those as participation points. um so like if you do the discussion board posts you get the full points for that day if you only did one out of two then I deduct maybe like one and a half um participation points for the day um, if you didn't do any of them, then I can't give you any participation points because I have no idea that you've done any of the work at all. Um, so yeah, they're just being counted for participation points. Although for this class, I'm just automatically giving everybody three and a half participation points for today. So that is my gift to you. <laughs> oh, there's also a couple of bonus points questions on the exam. There's two of them. And they're multiple choice, and I think they're easy. One of them involves cats. Not that it matters, I'm just wondering. Say that again? Sorry, are, like the two bonus points, are they um, like part of the 15 questions or two additional questions? That's an excellent question. Not that it matters, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, I cannot minimize this Zoom when I am recording the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, can I move the Zoom? Yes, I can. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You do. I should have actually printed this off. Um, yeah, so there's 15 multiple choice, and then beneath that, it just says bonus and then bonus. Oh, they're going to be super easy. They're going to be really easy. Oh, man. The one is a, like a freebie. Is one like, what are the name of my cats? Missy and Jasper. One of them is basically asking, what is the name of the cat? And then the other one is asking, what was your favorite text from the semester? <laughs> so you're basically getting five free points on the exam. Just like answer the questions. Oh, no. Yeah, I think you know my dumb cat's name by now. He's an idiot. Isn't he cute though? He's an idiot, but he's adorable. Recently, he, he likes to be hand fed. So recently I have been hand feeding him to try to get him to gain a little bit of weight. It's really pathetic. That's what we have to do with my dog. That's what you have to do with your dog? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pathetic creatures. Pathetic. Or though, who is more pathetic? The fool or the fool who follows? In this I mean, case, if you're feeding you. your animal, you are the fool who follows. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Do you guys have any other questions or concerns? Yeah, Segi. Um, what percentile is like the, our final exam uh, over the 
Oh, great. Yeah, it tells on the syllabus. I believe it's like 20%. Okay. I believe it's like 20%. But again, I think this is going to be easy. I think it's going to be easy. I did not try to make it hard. <laughs> I tried to make it so that like they were things we discussed, um, but also so that it was like reasonable given the situation that we're all currently in, which is a shit situation. So, Courtney, do you think we're going to be back at school next semester? Uh, do you mean for fall? Yeah. Uh, that's a great question. Um, I pay attention to what Pitt and CMU decide because what they decide is probably going to determine what Duquesne decides too. Um, so, what I have heard from the powers that be. Um, imagine that to be whoever you want. God, I don't know. Imagine that to be whoever you want. Maybe Ken Gormley just showed up <laughs> and charged through the door and was like, hey, I hope he doesn't do that. Like, Ken Gormley, don't do that. Um, I would be terrified. Um, is that <clears throat> they're hoping, they're really, really hoping, really, really trying to be open for the fall. Um, however, it might not be possible. And so what they're also looking into is doing partial virtu virtual and partial in person. There's, so like things are up in the air right now. Duquesne is really weighing which option is going to be best for the health and safety of like faculty, staff, and students. So, say your, your face is how I feel about it. <laughs> I can't do an online semester again. Like it's <laughs> Either. Really I great. know it's it's so hard. It really yeah. it just really to be entirely blunt, it really fucking sucks. Yeah. yeah. Especially for you seniors. I am so sorry, you guys. I'm so yeah. sorry. Sucks. I I feel for the seniors in particular. I really, really do, you guys. Do you think that if um the fall like actually does virtual in any sense, do you think that they're going to continue to postpone graduation ceremonies? All my friends are like next May. So like May of 2021, which at that point, it's stupid. We're all going to be gone. Like there's no point to have graduation. I am like, <laughs> it needs to be negative, but. Class. What did yeah. you say? Me? Yeah, Anna Maria, sorry. <laughs> okay, sometimes the Zoom lags, but it would suck if like our class was like forced to graduate in May 2021, unless they hold a completely different ceremony. No offense to the class like that's graduating in 2021, but like I would like my class to graduate as a class rather than like combined with another class. Yeah, to be like mashed together. Yeah, because it's, it's supposed to be a celebration. You guys have, have achieved something really impressive and important, right? Like you've gone for a full four years in higher education, which is not easy by any means. It's just not easy. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, thinking back to my own graduation day, which was partially a shit show, um, <laughs> but, also, <laughs> but also was, like, really important to me, um, and I, ha I did have a lot of fun that day. There was this one, um, woman who was a year below us, so she was a junior, and for any of the seniors that she really loved, she got a seat way up in the stands, and she brought a goddamn cowbell with her, and anytime any of the seniors she really loved were walking, she would Hello? just whip out this cowbell and, like, <laughs> she froze it with her arm up for you guys. Yeah. She was just, like, Jenny was really Wait, Courtney, you need to oh. say like everything again. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to say everything again. Did you yeah. some of you miss some of that? You froze. You froze like this. Froze. I don't it was uh, it was like mid movement. God, <laughs> well, I can see you all laughing at me if that makes you all feel better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what happened is my friend Jenny, who was a junior whenever I was a graduating senior, she brought a cowbell with her to senior graduation and sat way up in the stands. And anytime one of the seniors that she really loved, so like me, walked across the stage, she would ring this cowbell like a nutcase. And so you would be walking across the stage and there would just be cowbell going the whole time. 
It was really obnoxious, but really funny. And afterward, my mother was like, who was ringing the cowbell? And I was like, no, don't even, it's a whole thing. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> but, like, things like that are really special about your graduation. Right? So I'm, I just feel really bad that you guys are, are missing out on that. So I'm really sorry. And I, I don't, I really don't know what is going to be happening at Duquesne in the fall. In some ways, I'm out of the loop of it too, just because, um, okay, well, thank you. Uh, Zoom was just telling me, we're giving you more than 40 minutes. Um, thanks, Zoom. Uh, what was I saying? Wait, Zoom gives you less than 40 minutes? Yeah. Do you well, have more than three people on? You can't have a, like a meeting more than 40 minutes without their like, like buying a package thing. Yeah, it's really annoying. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I, I won't be teaching after this semester at Duquesne um, because that's just the way the program that I'm in works. So you teach your, for your first four years and then every year after that, you're on some kind of alternative funding. Um, so that's why I'm waiting to back about what my fifth year funding is. So yeah, you guys are, are my last crew too. What's so. going to happen to your class, woman at the top? Well, um, I don't know. I mean, it's my class. So I designed and created the entire class by myself. This is like my baby, this class, which makes it even more upsetting to me that we had to go online. Um, but also makes me really excited that all of you were like game to come and <laughs> do this weirdness with me. Um, so this class will never really happen again. Like this is it. So this is a once in a lifetime chance. <laughs> That's like, really upsetting. I'm sorry, but at least, class. at least you got to be a part of it. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy, lots, lots of depressing things right there. Um, Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, it was a reasonable question. Um, yeah, so what else? Is there anything else you guys are concerned about or that I, I can help you out with? You're all just kind of staring at me like, mm. I don't have any more questions. You don't have any more questions? Okay. Oh, one last thing, one last thing. Please, please, for the love of all that is holy, whatever religion or whatever not religion you worship, please fill out the SES. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, I take the SESs like, hyper seriously. I know that maybe you feel like, oh, my teachers don't really give a shit about those. Let me tell you, I give a shit about them. Um, I really, really care about them. Um, I read them and I save them and I use them to help me develop future courses. So even though I won't be teaching at Duquesne again, I might be teaching at another university in the future. And so I can still use your feedback to help me create better courses. And that's really important to me because I always care about like what the experience is like for you guys. If you had fun, if you feel like you got something out of the course, or if you absolutely hated it, then I need to know why so I can make it better. So please be honest and please fill those out. It's a huge help to me. Like it seriously, seriously is. Yeah. And I know it's like an extra thing right now. So if you don't get around to it, I understand, but also please get around to it. <laughs> what did they do by? What did they do? Uh, I think tonight. early May? It's tonight. Oh, it's tonight? Yeah, the SES is to do tonight. Okay, so if you could please, yes, um, <laughs> <SES, like, tap. laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> that would be marvelous. I already did mine. <laughs> Joan is like writing and we. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean this sound so loud. <laughs> it was really funny. It was just like very intense. I night, so I was like. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's all I have. Well, I do want to thank you guys for a good semester. I'm so sorry 
that we didn't get to spend the second half of the semester like together. I, I hope you at least enjoyed the books and you've learned something from the class that you took some kind of enjoyment out of how weird it continuously was. Um, I had a fun time and I really did enjoy getting to see all my returning students. I loved to see you guys back. That like makes my heart very warm. Um, but then also everybody that was new, I loved getting to meet you guys. You're all weird in your own unique <laughs> special ways. <laughs> You really truly are. And I know this because I read your work. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for a great semester. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, um, you guys can feel free to contact me. Um, and I'm <clears throat> going to open up this option since I will not be teaching at Duquesne after this semester. Um, first off, you can always feel free to email me. That's totally fine. Um, but also, if you want to Facebook friend me after the semester is over, <laughs> so like you could send me a Facebook request now and I'll just wait until the semester is over to accept it. If you want to keep in touch with me that way, that's totally fine. I did that with some of my WVU students too. And so like one of them has been on rea multiple reality shows and like I've watched him on the reality shows. <laughs> multiple? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's been on a couple. Um, so that's just the way that Noah rolls. Um, so if you want to keep in touch, like that's a good way to keep in touch. I do post stupid things on Facebook. But if you, if you want to friend me, you're, you're welcome to do so. Or if you're like Courtney, Facebook is for old people like you, then I also understand <laughs> that sentiment. <laughs> We're going to make an Instagram. Um, no, no, we cannot because I do not have one. <laughs> No, you should make one. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to. <laughs> um, I don't have, I, first off, I would never do TikTok. I do not have Instagram. Um, Snapchat. I, no, that is the devil. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I have a Twitter, but I do not use it. And also, my username is W underscore R W underscore ench so it's wrench but with an r in there so it looks like wrench wrench i thought that was hilarious whenever i made it so i don't want to have you guys friend me on twitter whenever my username is literally supposed to be wench you can um, change facebook <laughs> facebook is fine <laughs> also i don't use twitter so yeah because i'm an old person okay i'm old you're not that old Facebook was the thing a decade ago. Do you understand? A decade ago. I was nine a decade ago. Yeah, and I was 18 and I was graduating from college. <laughs> or I was graduating from high school, I'm sorry. And I was starting college. So yes, I am old. Don't try to make it better, Uma. <laughs> <laughs> Once you hit 30, you can call yourself old. That's in two years you're not old yet then okay well i'll just count down the days i'll just start counting. <laughs> <laughs> whenever i get to 30 i'll tell my family one of my students said once i'm 30 i'm officially old so now i'm a junior like the rest of you i'll tell them that uma i'll remember Please do. i won't remember if you don't i'm gonna be really really sad i'm gonna like have some like <laughs> telecommunication telepathy i'm gonna know yeah Good to know. All right, you guys. Thank you again. It was so great to see you. Um, again, feel free to contact me anytime, even if you just want to chat um, or if you need help with something. I write really good letters of recommendation if you get a B or higher class. Remember that. All right, you guys. I'm going to end the meeting here. So go and live your lives and eat something delicious. Okay. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye